Hi everyone and welcome to this video on security and privacy as a fundamental aspect in any big data system architecture. Data security and privacy is necessary and affects all other components of the big data system. Even data sources are included in security and privacy as they apply security protocols and mechanisms. Security and privacy is a key component of any big data project. In this video, we will be covering the following topics. Why data security and privacy is so important? What are the different security and privacy traits to big data? How can security and privacy be addressed in big data architecture? Security and privacy principle in big data projects. So, why is security and privacy important in big data? Big data is a valuable asset of organizations. It can be used to gain insight into customer behavior, identify fraud, and make better decision making. However, big data is also a target for attackers. If attackers can gain access to big data, they can steal sensitive information, disrupt operations, or even damage the organization's reputation. So what are the different security and privacy threats to big data? There are a number of different security and privacy threats. These threats can have a significant impact on organizations, including financial losses, reputational damage, and legal liability. Some of the co most common threats include Data breaches Data breaches are one of the most common threats to big data. In a data breach, attackers can gain unauthorized access to sensitive data. This data can then be used for uh, malicious purposes uh, like uh, identity theft or fraud, causing significant harm to individuals and organizations. Malware attacks. Malware attacks are another common threat to big data. Malware is software that is designed to harm a computer system. Malware can be used to steal data, disrupt operations, or even damage a computer system. Data leaks. Data leaks can also be a threat to big data. A data leak occurs when sensitive data is accidentally exposed. This can happen through of a human error, system misconfiguration, or malicious activity. So, how can security and privacy be addressed in big data architecture? There are a number of ways to address a security and privacy in big data architecture. Some of the most common uh, techniques include Data encryption. Data encryption is the process of converting data into a form that cannot be read without a special key. This can help to protect data from unauthorized access. Access control. Access control is the process of restricting access to sensitive data. This can be done by using user IDs and passwords or by using role-based access control. Data security auditing. Data security auditing is an important part of any big data security strategy. By regularly auditing your systems, you can identify and fix security vulnerabilities before they are exploited by attackers. There are a number of different ways to conduct data security auditing. One common approach is to use a security scanner to scan your systems uh, for known vulnerabilities. Another approach is to manually review your system uh, for security weaknesses. The specific approach you take will depend on the size and complexity of your big data system. However, no matter which approach you take, it is important to regularly audit your systems to ensure that they are secure. Here are some of the benefits of data security auditing. It can help to identify and address security vulnerabilities. It can help to improve the overall security of your big data system. It can help to reduce the risk of data breaches. It can help to comply with security regulations. Data privacy and policies as the one of the most important uh, keys for data security. Indeed, data privacy policies are the rules that govern how sensitive data is collected, used and stored. These policies can help to protect the privacy of individuals. It's important, indeed, these policies should be clear and easy to understand, and they should be easy accessible to individuals. Here are some of the key elements of a good data privacy policy. The purpose. 
the, the policy should state the purpose for which this data is being collected. Collection. The policy should take how the data is being collected and from whom. The use. Indeed, the policy should state how the data will be used and who will have access to it. The storage. The policy should state how the data will be stored and for how long. Security. The policy should state how the data will be protected from unauthorized access, use or disclosure. Individual rights. The policy should state the individual's rights with respect to their data, such as their right to access, correct or delete their data. And finally, contact information. The policy should include contact information for the organization responsible for the data. Next, we move to security and privacy principle in big data projects. In addition, in addition to general security and privacy principle listed above, there are a number of specific principles that are important to consider in big data projects. These principles include heterogeneous components. Big data projects often involve a variety of different components, each with uh, its own security and privacy requirements. This can make it difficult to implement a single security scheme uh, that covers all of the components. Streamed data. Indeed, big data projects often involve the use of streamed data, which is data that is constantly being generated and updated. This type of data is, can be more difficult to secure than traditional batch data, which is data that is collected and processed at regular intervals. Then, multiple sources. Big data projects often involve the use of data from multiple sources. This can increase the risk of privacy and security breaches, as data from different sources may not have been properly de-identified or secured. Internet of Things Indeed, the increasing use of IoT services in big data projects introduce uh, new security and privacy risks. IoT devices are often connected to under the inter Internet, which make them vulnerable to cyber attacks. New types of data. However, big data projects often involve the use of new types of data, like uh, geospatial and video. These types of data may not have been uh, adequately secured in the past, and they may pose new privacy challenges. Volatility. Indeed, big data systems often involve the use of data that is volatile, meaning that it is constantly changing. This can uh, make it difficult to keep track of the data and to use uh, uh, and to ensure that it is properly secured. In conclusion, security and privacy are important considerations in any big data projects. By understanding the different security and privacy traits and, and by implementing appropriate uh, security measures, organizations can help to protect their big data assets. Here are some additional types for ensuring the security and privacy of big data projects. Start with a security first mindset. Security should be a top priority from the start of the project, not an, uh, an afterthought. Involve security and privacy experts early in the process. These experts can help to identify and mitigate security risks. Use a layered security approach. No single security measure is foolproof, so it is important to use a layered approach that includes multiple layers of security. Keep security and privacy policies up to date. Indeed, security and privacy policies should be reviewed and updated regularly to, to reflect changes in the trade landscape. Educate employees about security and privacy. However, Employees should, should be aware of the security and privacy risks associated with big data projects, and they should be trained on how to protect data. By following these types, organizations can help to ensure the security and privacy of their big data assets. Thanks for watching.